Hello, welcome back to the farm vlog. I'm gonna do a quick little video to show you um, what I did because I had problems with my pepper plants. Once they got this big, I transplanted them into cups and then they all died. So I had like 100 plants and they all died and that was weeks and weeks ago. So I wanted to show you real quick what I've got underneath my grow lights, in my garage, in my barn actually. Um, and also a follow up on the little experiment I did with the chicken incubator um, germinating seeds. So let's get started. I germinated some seeds in the house and also in the chicken incubator. I believe in the chicken incubator, it was a six pack that had multiple things in it. So it's gonna be this one right here. So we've got Swiss chard, we had some cantaloupe, we had some eggplant, we had some Brussels sprouts. As you can see, that's Brussels sprouts right there. And then separately, inside the house, I did them on the heat mat just to test the germination. So these are from there. This is Brussels sprouts. This is black beauty eggplant. These are green peppers. This is the Bianca eggplant from Baker's Creek. Pink Swiss chard. Cantaloupes, they do really good in here. Back here are Brad's Atomic Grape. These are the only ones I have growing. All the rest have died. They barely even germinated, so these ones are doing much better. And then back here I have some watermelon. I believe that's moon and stars. Some more peppers growing. And then clay yellow watermelon right here. That's the kind that the meat is yellow. Say about that. More peppers. So everything I've been researching says these peppers can be transplanted now after they get some true leaves. So let's see, one, two, three, four. They got, they got four true leaves. So I could actually start hardening them off and planting them outside. These are eggplants. They have more than just their first set of seeds. And it looks like there's also some more peppers over here. It looks like I um, planted some tomato, maybe romas, in these six packs that never um, germinated. So then I reused them for peppers and now the tomatoes are germinating. So that's awesome. I'm gonna come over here and we're gonna look at all my uh, second sowing of peppers. So here we have some habaneros. Here's some green peppers. I believe these are all green peppers here. original was coral and now it's grand mix so the grand mix is going to have yellow pink coral green bell habanero cayennes look they're doing so good jimmy nardellos grand mix those are the different color ones so you don't even know what you're going to get until you get them some fruit on them Like some serranos that I got first, and then some brand mix. So let's see. And chocolate beauty. That one doesn't look too good. It's kind of small. Let's see what this is. This is cantaloupe. Over here, I'm growing some basil. I transplanted this out of a big one that had multiples into here. And then I planted some oregano. So I've got some oregano's going in here. These are my pineapple from Baker's Creek, my pineapple tomatoes. Just not doing that hot. And then here is my cream berries. Yesterday I planted all jalapenos in here. And then over here I did all sweet bell peppers. That's just a quick look at what I've got going on in my grow area. It's not a, you know, designated grow area like most people have with um, just one room and tons of lights. I've just got, as you see, I've got two lights, two lights and I've got these tubs so I can water them and then empty them out. They just got manure tea yesterday. So they got tons of nitrogen and they should be growing 
a lot quicker in the next few days than they have been since they were just fertilized. I have some cucumbers out there in the garden and after I did some manure tea, within three days they tripled in size and they even have flowers on them right now. Can't resist even though it's raining. We got a little break in the rain and I'm just coming out and taking a look at my garden. And I will show you those cucumbers. Here's my tomatoes. There's red. I will show you those cucumbers that tripled in three days. Look at that. That cucumber was not even as big as this one here. And then within three days, it's tripled. Now it's almost quadrupled, but look at all the flowers on it. It's got one, two, three flowers on it. Uh, the same with this one over here. Just completely tripled and quadrupled from manure tea which that is another video that I will show you, but everything got some manure tea a few days ago. One more flat that I forgot about that I had in the house um, on the heated germination seedling mat. And these um, all here are the grand mix. Like we just talked about the coral, the peach, the yellow, um, sometimes even purple. And then over here is green peppers that I have. So. Those are doing well. They just take forever to germinate. So they take 10 to 14 days to actually start to come up. These came up about three days ago. Um, they still just have their first leaves. So hopefully they get their second, third, fourth pretty soon and then we could transfer them out. So as always, if you like my content, please subscribe and like our channel. Have a great day.